Looking at the underside of a party wall, we can see it is supported by welded support plates fixed at both sides, meaning each plate is fixed to both dwellings simultaneously. The concern here with respect to the FRL is firstly the structural adequacy component is compromised by having fixings on both sides. If one dwelling were to collapse in the event of a fire, it would compromise the support plates and leave the adjoining dwelling at risk. Secondly, the insulation component of the FRL is compromised as, in the event of a fire, that would act as a bridge to transfer heat from one dwelling to the other. There is no thermal break. The plans here nominate a CSR system and we can see that their installation guide requires staggered or offset support plates at nominated spacings so each dwelling is independently supporting that party wall. Effectively, if one dwelling were to collapse, the adjoining dwelling and its respective support plates would keep that party wall supported. Having staggered support plates also helps maintain the insulation component of the FRL by removing that thermal bridge between dwellings. Also in the detail, we can see that there is an additional layer of fire resistant board required at the floor level junction. As fire loads are considered greater at floor level junctions and ceiling and roof areas, the additional layer of fire resistant board is required as an additional layer of protection to that central fire barrier where it is needed the most. I'll also note that fire resistant ceiling lining will also be required, 1800 mil both sides of the party wall in accordance with the NCC. And finally, another reminder to please consider the cladding system installed. Here we have an EPS cladding system installed across the face of the end junction which immediately compromises the required FRL as it would allow for fire to spread across the face from one dwelling to the other, completely bypassing the party wall system. In summary, when installing or assessing fire separation, please remember that elements outside of the party wall itself, such as supports or cladding, also impact whether the required FRL is achieved.